get ready. That was a nice hotel, that was one of the nicer ones that I stayed in. Uh, although I think last night's was probably my favourite. Um, but this one here in Balakulish, that was lovely, the room and that was lovely and the location and all was really nice. Uh, I should have stayed here, what did I think of that? Yeah, sure, we'll try somewhere new. But, um, yeah, the arch, very nice, a bit small though, but nice spot. Uh, but that other one in uh, Balmacara, Jesus, that was awful. Well, I don't want to say awful. The room was a bit crap, but uh, the staff were very nice, that girl there was very nice. Right, that's us. I'm sitting behind that old bat. Here's this bridge again now, huh? There's the old hotel. Oh no, that's not it, it's further down here. We're gonna loop around with that, are we? So we're going to loop out and go under the bridge. Okay. Gotcha. Roger, Dodger. Yeah, I should have stayed here. This was nice. Well, I never know. Oban might be nicer. Yeah, so this will be all new now from here. As I went, when I left Balakulish that night, that day we went out over that bridge so now this is all new going up this side of the uh, the lock that's stunning isn't it what a setting what after the hotel Jesus now that would have been nice Paying attention only. Yeah, that was a nice. Balakulish Hotel and Restaurant. I remember that now. Well, the one I was in there was nice. Segway tours, cool. Oh, that'd be a bit of crack, wouldn't it? The Segway tour. Right, so, how far are we out now? Oh, this is a beautiful drive. Look at this. We're 48 kilometers. It's, uh, five to five. It's telling me I'll be in at 5.50. That's about what, 55 minutes, so an hour. More of this for today. Check you're all still there. I'm not blathering on to myself. Oh, this is just. Yeah, I'm going to say it. This is the dog's bollocks. Brilliant.
the cat's pajamas. The Vida Loca. This is living the Vida Loca, this is. Oh, no shell pigeon. I'm a happy camper. I'd say there's even Scottish people, can't believe. Look at those houses, they're nice. Balconies out over the bay. I'd say there's even Scottish people looking at this video maybe. If there's anyone watching this video. Thinking, that jammy bastard. How did he get weather like that? I've lived here 50 years, never been that nice. I get these nice clear roads every now and then. I get to relax and have a bit of fun with them. Look at this. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. Woo! Looking like the uh, the Rockies a little bit here. You can see all these big pine trees up ahead. Wow! I can save some battery for when I get closer to Oban. Parties in them all. Oh, I got the camera on too late. Amazing old castle out there in the middle of a lake. Let's see if I can get down to it, maybe. Um. If I can get down to it, I can might get the drone onto it. Um, let's see. Yeah, get up. The old in. Let me go back up to the hill there so I can have a look. So that would be an amazing drone shot if I could get it on. There's nowhere I can get in, I can't do it from this cafe. Can I? I 
not open. That's not open. Which is a better look at this. See it over there? It actually looks like the Ill and Donnan uh, castle. It was uh, out on, uh, out on a little island. So there are, there are obviously people are pissing people off. the signs everywhere saying not to park there. That's the same. That looks like it's the way down to it. But there's signs on it saying no parking. I'll have to let it go. That, that's annoying. That's annoying, that is. Anyway, we move on. This road has been amazing, absolutely amazing. Every road has been amazing, but... It's time to keep going. There'll be other opportunities. you soon. Looks like we're going up on another bridge here. Well that doesn't look that I've uh, seen the other ones now it's not as impressive as the other ones. Oban A82 Glasdrum Wood Reserve. Oh here's this is this one of these bloody cars I've that was in the group of four I overtook earlier. Because I stopped to have a look at that uh, castle, they've overtaken me again now. They overtake them all over again. You won't like that. Look at this. So we're 23 kilometers now out from Oban. Scenery is getting nicer and nicer, so it's looking up for Oban. Oban might be a nice spot. I think where you get the ferry from Oban, do you? I think you might. Oh, jeez, this lads are missed Daisy. What a road. Look, it's all freshly tarmacked. It's beautiful. He's not going to like when I overtake him again. I don't think he liked it the first time. Fabulous. He sped up a bit there when I went to overtake him. He didn't like that. He didn't like that. It's just like a ribbon of road. Look at this, a ribbon of tarmac. Just follows the contour of the lake. You sports bike lads would love this. An R6 would be the, uh, the weapon of choice for this thing. Something unbelievably powerful and agile. Thank 
kilometers. So I need to check my tire pressure on the. Hello, come on. Tire pressure on the petrol. I'm down to three bars on the petrol. So it's shown that there's two petrol stations between me and uh, uh, the hotel. So I'll take one of them, whichever one comes first and looks uh, like it has everything I need. I'll need to have one with a services section to do this tire pressure. I wonder what blew my light bulb. That's strange. Uh, they're only recently new, those bulbs, so shouldn't be blown. Been hungry again now. Never got my leukocyte last night. I don't know if I'm killing me for leukocyte, never got it in the end. It's gone now. This is the golf that was ahead of me earlier. I'm after catching up with him. That's, that's 10 minutes ago I left him. Like brake checking me or something. They're braking for no reason. I'll check it back in the video. Maybe he saw something I didn't. Incredible road. Incredible. <coughs> Today's more been about the, the actual riding instead of the scenery, although the scenery's been really good. But all day today I've been maintaining a reasonably high velocity. I was breaking any, breaking any records and certainly not doing anything a sports bike wouldn't sneeze at. But I would say I was making some nice progress. Having some fun, throwing the bike around left and right. Just outside Oban. Just past it has its own airport. I didn't realise that. Uh, so uh, it should be just far enough that uh, I'm outside the range for it. If I tried to get the drone up. Um, I think the range, I think as long as you're outside five miles of an airport for a local regional airport like this, 20 miles I think for uh, international airports, you can't fly within I think 20 miles. So if I'm what, 8.6 kilometers away, that should put me out of range of this airport. Just Look at this. This is pretty cool. Jeez, that's a narrow bridge. What the heck? Wow, this is old. 
This is cool. That's very strange fucking bridge. I'll have to keep an eye out for this petrol station. This is on four kilometers from that, so. Look at this. I don't know if this is the town itself. No, I don't think so. A lot of traffic. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, so I knew Oban had stuck in my head for some reason. I couldn't remember if it was good or bad. It must be good, it must be good because, uh, because it's only been getting nicer and nicer the further up here I've been going. So I'm hoping that Oban is, uh, is a little jewel. If what I've seen so far up here is to go by, everything has been lovely up here, uh, really nice. I'm only like 7.6 kilometers from it now, so it's nice here, so. Fingers crossed, folks. Fingers crossed. Must be it up ahead. Or there's a marina up there ahead. That might be it. Oh, this might be a bit close, isn't it? See you now in a minute. Yeah, that's too close. I'm saying it's six and a half kilometers, that's nearer than six and a half. Might be where the petrol station is, though. Five and a half kilometers out. Some nice boats down there. But I'm only a kilometer, I think, from the petrol station. I mean, 1.3. Get some juice and pump up these tires. Right, so, just got fueled up now for the morning, check the tyre pressures, according to that they weren't off too far. Uh, so we're just going to go into Old Band now, I think we're only about 3 or 4 minutes outside the town, so maybe a bit more, 4.2 kilometres. But uh, it's a beautiful evening. Quarter to six, so uh, you know it's a bit over the line. We made a bit of time there, actually. We were here a little bit earlier than I was anticipating. That's okay. It does feel a little bit better now in the corners all right with that little extra couple of PSI put in. But three or four PSI each I think it took. Although I don't think most of those garages keep those uh, those machines calibrated properly. It keeps telling you one thing every few couple of minutes like it's uh, I brought a little gauge with me but I couldn't be arsed digging it out. I just knew I needed an extra couple of PSI. So done, 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 done. Well, 
What a nice, what an evening. So let's see what's the reading now. Uh, I'll just get out of this bend first. So 2.3, 2.5. Okay, they both went down for some reason. But at least the back one is showing a higher PSI than the front one, which is what I wanted it to do. Yeah, I know they're firm enough, they're okay. Um, done Ollie. Yeah, but did you do Stan? <laughs> Anywho. So 2.3, 2.5. Should probably read a little bit higher than that, but uh, I like to keep them high, particularly when you've got a uh, lump like me and all the luggage on board. This must be Oban here. Yeah, that looks all right. It's bigger than I was expecting. Now, I don't know where this hotel is. I couldn't find it in the sat nav. All I know is that it's called the, uh, the Scott. So hopefully it'll be nice. We'll drive through and it's a lot when I see it, I think. The Scott, the Hamilton House, Sutherland House, Corin Hills, Fiddler's Rally. <laughs> it's a hell of a rally to have for fiddlers. What do you do? I'm a fiddler. They are very nice, look. Certainly wouldn't be stuck for somewhere to stay. Like I said, I don't do B&Bs. Where is this place? Puffin Water Adventures. There it is, just look, I'm driving right past it. Oh, that was handy. Oh, gravel. What is it with bloody gravel? Nice deep gravel too. Thank you, Scott. Don't just cheap asses putting in gravel instead of tarmac in it. Good God. They could have at least put in some resin or something to seal it. Oh, oh that's gone over a bit. Well, at least it's enough at the main street. <coughs> Nobody else see her. Jeez, I hope they don't give me a fucking room looking out over here. Give me one looking out. I should have asked for one looking out over to see. But you look, we're going to see what it's like. folks we made it down to Oban and uh, hopefully you can see me uh, but uh, as I said I, I had to split the day in two but I wanted to get down as far south as I possibly could today so that I don't have too long to go for tomorrow to get back to the ferry so I think I'm about a four hour ride from the ferry from, from here tomorrow which is grand but today was a fantastic drive and um, a lot of stuff I didn't expect I went right across the top um, of Scotland into uh, John Road, so hopefully you'll have seen the footage of that. And then took that coast road down, uh, beautiful road actually, much better than I was expecting. Everyone told me that that was going to be uh, a bit dull, but it was lovely and the sun was shining, it was fantastic and it was quick. Uh, probably too quick and too straight at times I was starting to get a bit tired and a bit sleepy. But then when we got down to Inverness uh, and on to Loch Ness, that was just mind-blowing stuff. Bit of an accident we saw there, but... Um, I tried to get down to Glenfin and again it just wasn't happening, I was going to add another two hours to the journey so uh, I left it, I'll get it the next time. So um, we're in Oban now, uh, beautiful drive in, the sun is splitting the, the, the sky, it was 27, nearly 30 degrees at some point. Sorry folks, my battery keeps dying. So yeah, so it's a fantastic road down from Loch Ness, unbelievable stuff, uh, Loch Ness is off the charts now. Um, 
But all bad seems nice now, it's a nice little town. So I'll show you around. Now 15th of this hotel, again, it's not a cheap, but it's 150. But he's after telling me now when I've checked in that, uh, I'm not sure if he said either the restaurant was, they don't have one, or it's just not serving tonight. But either way, I'm not getting fed here tonight. So I have to go out. So I'll get changed now and I'll go out and try and find something to eat. But I'll show you around the room. It's a, it's a little bit artsy. And it's not worth 150 quid, I wouldn't be rushing back. But um, as you can see, it's my beautiful view out into the town. That is the room, it's a fine big bed. But the room itself is a little bit cramped, particularly after last night's. Um, nice little bathroom. Yeah, that's it. It's, uh, it's no frills but all bills um, so yeah I'm a bit disappointed now with that to be honest but um, yeah so tomorrow I'm finding about it's just straight onto the bike pointed towards Karen Ryan and we'll be gone you know that's it so it's, it's essentially the it's essentially the North Coast 500 done uh, but thanks for following me uh, I'll do some wrap ups later and we might even get some more um, uh, nice views tomorrow. I didn't get any drone footage today, so uh, that's a shame. But uh, but look, we'll we'll, uh, we'll get this finished. Talk to you again.